Hey, what's up everybody? Rob here from Ramp Studio Comics. Welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to address uh, how to do these speed lines real quick. Uh, somebody had requested it and it's uh, they're pretty easy to do. So let me go ahead and show you uh, how I do that in Procreate. Uh, so, you know, I got a picture of Wolverine that I was working on here, obviously. And let's see if, uh, um, let's see the best way to just take off the artwork for him. I also use a flood layer of white. Uh, I'm kind of messy there. You can see it starts exposing the flaws of what's behind there. Almost looks like a finger smudge. Oh, that's his facial hair. I work off layers. So, uh, so let me get rid of a lot of these layers and I'll jump right to the line work. And it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I'll even show you what I did for the box there because at first in, in Procreate, things like that become a little bit tricky without shape brushes. Uh, but now what they added uh, was um, not only... You know, perspective tools have been in here a while, but now with the drawing guides, you can do uh, a 2D grid and you can draw your box shapes really quickly, which is fantastic. So any of your straight lines can be done with the 2D grid. You see that you can adjust the colors of it, uh, size, thickness, all, all these adjustments for the grid itself, which is uh, amazing, as well as assisted drawing. Uh, you can control that in the layers as well. But to do the lines, I actually set it to perspective and if you've worked with Procreate, then you know wherever you click, you can add up to three point perspective. Um, you can also undo with a two finger tap. So I'll add the one perspective. And in this case, I wanted it to look like he was jumping out towards camera a bit. Uh, so I, I add it, I put it where I need it. I kind of study where the lines are going. Hit done, go to a new layer. Now keep in mind, I generally will make sure I can at least see the character, so maybe tone back the opacity or whatever you want to do, but it's not really a big deal, especially if you do that flood layer I was talking about with the white. Uh, so add a new layer, click on the layer, and go to Drawing Assist. Now the neat thing about working off it this way, I'll use the technical pencil, um, is that basically I'm forced to just go to that one point perspective now. Now it can still go you know, to the the 2D grid like before. So, I mean, you can still create your lines that way as well for your straight lines, uh, obviously. But um, the only thing you have to worry about is that you don't accidentally snap to that. But now, the neat thing about this is that you can control your pressure sensitivity as you're creating these lines. So you go thick to thin. And notice I'm drawing right, right outside of that box. I find it to be more helpful to do that. And the way I create these lines is I'll usually start off with a few of the thicker ones. And again, I'm focusing on thick, and then softening up with the brush stroke as I pull downward. So just like you would do it off the old ruler method in a brush pen or, um, or a micron, whatever you used for traditional methods, it's very much the same uh, way, but obviously a lot easier. And I can stop right there, but you end up with these little light gaps. So I really recommend just going past it because it's so easy to clean it up. You get a nicer uh, feeling to the work. And this this works with everything, right? Like you should always shoot past the lines to get a nicer uh, organic or uh, free flowing kind of movement to the line and you go back and clean it up. Layers make that very easy, so why not? So I'll usually start off, I'll get some of these thicker ones in place. Remember that you can double up the line just by you know, hitting it a couple times. Uh, vary up your brush size, get some nice thinner ones involved. And you can go really fast because what happens is I'll try to get this to mess up. It's not messing up now. I notice that it works better if you pull into the line versus going you know, this way. But whatever is more comfortable for you is obviously what you're going to do. You can go both ways there. Uh, you're going to get the occasional thick one there. All right, so right there, it almost snapped this way. But I notice that even if you're moving really fast and you happen to do that, because the faster you move, the more likely it is to skip like that, it's not a big deal because Procreate has an amazing amount of undos. And it also has a speed undo and redo. So you can go two finger hold and it'll undo really fast, three finger hold and it'll redo really fast. So it's it's very um, easy to adjust and, and make uh, changes if you're moving really fast. This isn't one of those softwares where you move too fast, you make mistakes and you know you gotta slow down. I feel like you can draw pretty quickly uh, in this app. That's one of the reasons I use it because I like to you know, when I get in the zone, I like to draw uh, as quickly as possible to kind of maintain that uh, energy that I might have by being in the zone, whatever that is, right? 
So yeah, so that's it's really as simple as it is. Now, let me just fill in a few more of these and I'm gonna tone down my brush size and try to get some of these thinner lines as well. So I think that a lot of times when creating this effect, well, it's too thin, you want some nice variation in these lines. You want some tiny little thin ones that go kind of the, the longer distance and then the thicker ones. And keep in mind too, this works with any brush. So you could create a texture brush and that looks really neat for these types of speed lines as well. So you could even mix that in with these straight lines. So you could create a texture brush and uh, really give this some nice variation. You can also thicken it up. I'm actually ignoring my own idea there of going past the line. So you just do as many as you feel are adequate. But I like to put a good amount in because I like doing the negative erase lines that I'll show you here in a second. That's kind of why I'm taking the time to do as many as I am. You see, it doesn't take a, an awful lot of time. Uh, I know that when I used to do these for my comics, traditionally I spent a lot more time, some, you know, putting a ruler on a dot and sliding it over. I mean, you get pretty quick at that as well, but this is definitely more, uh, uh, more quick to do, or if that's how you say it, quicker to do. All right, so let's say that this is about enough. You know, you can keep varying this up. You can do some that are shorter into the, you know this area of the work, whatever. I just want you to be able to see the erase line. So now what you can do is you can either erase from here and do your uh, kind of negative lines or uh, or you can create a layer. Just switch it to white, obviously. And you can do these cool little... Oh, that's not actually white. Let me select here. Remember, you can hold anywhere on the canvas for a few seconds. It'll select that color. And let's bump up this brush size so you can see it. And see it's set to... Oh, it went back to that other layer. You want to make sure it's not assisted at this point. And you do these nice little, you know, speed line, or I don't know what you call these, but they give a nice little variation to the the repetitiveness of those uh, speed lines or action lines. And that's really it. And like I said, as far as cleaning it up, go back to your assisted layer. Um, probably turn this assisted off now. We don't need that anymore. And just use the selection tool. Do like a, a click. around something like that three finger swipe across and bam you know, that stuff's out of the way and you're good to go you can throw your character back in and do whatever layers you need to, to to make them pop off there but that's it i just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how you can do speed lines using the perspective tools obviously you could do this with two three point perspective you could create a layer like this you could save the layer reutilize that for another scene so if you find yourself doing these all the time uh, just save them, you know, things like that. So hopefully this video has been beneficial to you. I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below as well as what else you'd like to see in the future. I always appreciate the support of the channel. So as always, thank you and keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.